Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Your girl Brittany here, and we are in part two of the mini bookcase um, craft with me here. So, as you remember, in yesterday's video, we went over um, constructing the mini bookcase itself. So, here it is, all super cute. And now we are going to work on the actual books. That's his size. So, if you remember, yesterday I already had my stuff already cut out I did that with you on camera as well for some of the things um, the covers of the book are seven by four and a half and we needed four of those and then um, the actual box <clears throat> excuse me the actual box itself that goes um, inside the book is our six and a quarter by four and seven eighths. So I went ahead and we did that yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to start on the boxes so I can get those out the way. And I'm just gonna score on all fours. or varnishing done I mean See, this is one of the things I like to do like I like to get all my cutting and scoring out the way for any project that I work on because I feel that the cutting and scoring takes away your um, construction matting and uh, my favorite part the decorating because literally, like, I do, I do the, I hate crafting at night because I feel like I make a lot more mistakes at night. <laughs> I mean, if you had watched my video yesterday, you realize that, uh, I can make mistakes during the afternoon, too. <laughs> but it is what it is. I mean, mistakes happen. We're crafters. We always find a way to work around them. Hide any of the oopsies and boo-boos. Got all that done, and then I'm gonna fold them in. So you go like that. Dee -dee -dee. Why well, my hot glue gun is my best friend. I know we all have that tool. A lot of people are afraid to use hot glue. I think mainly because um, they don't feel, they personally don't feel that they are quick enough to close it. Up before it starts to dry but I think that depends on the type of glue gun you're using because if you're doing like a low or medium temp then yeah your cells probably gonna go up really fast but So, got all my boxes. Got a little jink, some zhuzh. All right. So now here are my covers. I'm going to just go ahead and varnish these. These ones I did in 65 pound um, because I'm matting them. So the boxes I did in 110 pound weight, and then these ones are 65. So those are done and remember how I was pulling out papers on what I wanted to possibly use so definitely not that one that one's that side and then birdies knee yeah I think 
See, I wanted kind of like a block. Like, I wanted like two. Yeah, I think that's what I wanted. I wanted like two floral and then like two kind of like block. <laughs> Um, so it's up to you if you're going to mat the back side if you're doing it the way I'm doing it because like your box is going to go in like this and see um, uh, Tony she had hers glued all the way to the spine so then you only so when you opened it up it opened up like this but see, I kind of want mine to be more in the box format, or the book format, where the spine is curled. You know what I mean? So it has that little gap there. But it's like, it honestly won't, to be honest, it won't stay that way. Because this isn't a hard piece. I don't know. But, either way, I'm around the corners. <laughs> Using my crop dial corner rounder. And like you could definitely like make a whole bunch of these and send them off as happy mail to people or as just like decoration in your room if you weren't doing it my way of doing all the matting and stuff. Because even though like it was a craft with me, if I was literally um, doing this without the camera on, with and everything, I, you know, I literally could have gotten maybe two or three bookcases done. <laughs> At least the, you know, the um, outline of it all. The bases the bases okay so do 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 all right you know what i forgot to do i forgot to measure how big these are so our cover piece is four and three quarters tall by two and seven eighths so i want to have an eighth of an inch border so it's going to be two and three fourths and then what did I say this was oh wait, no that's four and a half what did I say before I don't know <laughs> so this one I'm gonna make four and three eighths and make sure I did make sure I read this one correctly so two and seven eighths so yeah I'm gonna make that to be two and three quarters so that's what I'm going to do let me get these out the way here. Handy dandy cutting board. And so four and three eighths. All right, so now those are all cut. So I have my spines. Let me pull those out to make sure I'm going through life okay. <laughs> I'm going to take, since I rounded my um, little booklets, I'm going to take my crop dial corner rounder. I'm going to do the half inch side. Make sure I didn't mess up. How did I? I swear. See, that one's fine. So this one. Dude. Boy, boy, I tell you, man. I'd lose my head if it wasn't So now I have that. I'm actually, before I adhere it, I know I want to do... 
<coughs> excuse me, like some type of closures on these. So let me see, let me take a look at my stash and see what I want to use for my closures. All right, so I'm gonna use my some seam binding. I think I'm gonna use this um, trim right here. I got this. This I ordered from my scrap bin shop. Love her. <laughs> and then this, I th think I got it from. I think this was in a tag swap, if I'm not mistaken. I think. So my peachy color ones are going to go on the pink. And another um, thing that had to be done um, that was requirement was... Um, there had to, at least two of the books, I mean, you could do all four, but at least two of the books has to have, like, a hanging element, not a hanging element, but like a dangle or something on there. Alright, so there's that one. So I have that, and let me go ahead and... I'm going to, where's my bone folder? I hate a messy desk while I'm crafting. I'm gonna round this part, my spine. I don't have one of those cool little um, bone folder ones that um, actually does this for you. So yeah, that'll be perfect. And then, um, I'm actually, I I'm think I'm, think I'm going to distress these boxes as well so they're not like boom, white. You know, I should have did cream. I don't know why I didn't, but oh well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish um, matting my little booklets here and I'll be back. Alright, so now I have all of those matted. And I still have to round it up a little bit. Um, I know in my first video, I said that I was probably going to do this uh, video in three parts. Like, um, I already did the base of it. And then, um, I was, you know, doing the book construction. But I, th I was going to do the embellishments for the third video. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Only because um, I really don't have a lot of time where I can record and stuff like that. So I really like to try to get my stuff done best I can. But I also want to give you guys the content, the inspiration, ideas, and stuff like that. Um, but I just don't have a lot of time allowed like I am in school. I have homework and uh, stuff. I do um, get myself organized and I make sure that... I'm able to do this stuff as well as bring you the content and videos and stuff like that. But also too, so yeah, but I also want there to be like a little bit of element, element of surprise. <laughs> Cause you know, I actually have two partners. So I am using antique linen to distress these books. So I actually have two partners, so that's probably a really good thing because then they won't know which one this one is going to. <laughs> I had a girl message me who I partnered her up and she didn't realize that she clicked going on the swap. So she told me like literally right away that um, like within maybe few hours of me posting it so she told me right away it wasn't you know weeks out or anything saying that like oopsies I didn't realize I clicked going which like I can kind of understand because sometimes like I know I've um <laughs> have you ever accidentally liked somebody's post and <laughs> because like when you're on your phone you kind of just um when you're scrolling you accidentally 
you know, you hit your thumb or finger wrong on the phone and all of a sudden it's like, oh, 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 I guess I like it. But you also too don't want to unlike it because, you know, people get those notifications and it's like, oh, I could have sworn this person liked my poll. So what happened? <laughs> I hope you guys don't do that to me. I hope you don't, you know, accidentally like my stuff. <laughs> like, oops. I know, um, Tiff, Tiffany, uh, Crafting Like a Boss McGill, I know she had, she was put in, um, YouTube jail. <laughs> we call it YouTube jail. Because somebody had accidentally reported one of her videos. She didn't do, like, anything wrong at all. It was just an accident, so I don't know if they were trying to, like, like her video or if they were just trying to, like, click out and scroll onto something else. And, um, they ended up accidentally reporting her video, so they had a, you know, YouTube has to go through their whole little investigation of that and stuff like that. So for a while, she wasn't able to post anything. And, um, so it's like, oh, that was a huge bummer. Oof. Sometimes it just doesn't give you enough on the brush where you want it to go f further. Like I said, it's my, my mistake of even using white. I don't even know why I used white. And I think about it at the time it was just like right there it's like oh okay I think mainly because I don't think I have um, 80 pound or even 110 pound weight card stock in like the beige color so that could be another reason too I, um, my phone is linked to my laptop like it's literally linked to it so I can watch what's going on on my screen and so sometimes like if you see my hand kind of going out of the screen it's because my backlight <laughs> on my laptop is going out and it's like oh, 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 oh wait wait you go out I can't see <laughs> go out mama can't see You know, distressing is not bad unless you have a color that actually kind of does what it's supposed to do. Like any other of my uh, oxides, distress inks, like you could barely dab it and you have a lot on there. This one seems like I got a, and I don't, even, I think it's my first time using this one to be honest. That'll work. Mom about to break into a sweat. See, this is what happens when you grab the wrong color. All right, enough of that. <laughs> enough of that. The arm hurts. Okay. All right, so um, I will be putting my books in the stand like every other. So I'm going to. I think got my hole punch here and I'm going to do I want the bigger hole go punch that one and then punch that one all right so I have that Okay, so now I'm going to, see that, that looks a lot better. You know, books aren't really all that clean anyway. <laughs> all right, so let me find, here we go, our glitter glue. Let me go ahead and add this. Let me make sure I don't go 
outside box or outside of the book part. There we go. Looks really nice. And close your it. Ta-da! Cute. All right. So let me go ahead and do that to all of them. I'll be back, guys. All right. So now I have all foot. All four books um, constructed. Super cute and like the little nice distressed look. So it's not all extra um, super white. <laughs> And now I am going to decorate it. I had found these at uh, the Dollar Tree. I thought these were so cute. And I'm like, you know what? That would look really cute on the spine. <coughs> Excuse me, of my books. So I'll do like... Cute. Um, I won't put the charms. I won't do that on camera. I won't do that in this video today. Um, because otherwise this video will be a lot longer than I want it to be. So I'm not going to do that. Because I will do like, you know, a reveal video of like what I make. And like I said, I have two partners. So I'll show you guys. The second one that I make
guys so this is what I created then so we have this one and I just realized that this is upside down <laughs> no alright so easy fix alright so we have this one butterfly did some of the layering there and we have the beads going or gems going on and there's this one I go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in tune once more. We have that one. We have this one that says replenish. And then we have find joy in the ordinary. I think I'm going to um, probably glossy accent some things and um, do like some stickling to make it stand out a little bit more. So here's my case, and I did add um, of the pearls at the top here as well. I just thought it was a little naked up top. So if we go start putting it in. One. there we have it guys so here is my little mini bookcase shelf with my little bookcase my shelf itself and everything so here's a look at the back through the top the sides so so stinking cute thank you so much for joining me with the craft with me again I do have another partner so I will be making another one of these and I will do a video um, after both my partners receive their swap I'll do a video of what I the finishing the finished product of the like having the little dangles and the embellishments that I put on the inside and then you'll also see the other one that I create so I hope you guys enjoy the videos thanks so much for hanging out with me and crafting with me and whatnot and I guess I'll just check you out in the next video bye